Well, this morning I'm filming the uh, grass areas uh, in Rutland Cres and Ashmead, the Croft, etc. And this is the state of the, uh, the grass here leading into Rutland Crescent and Ashmead. I've just entered the Wiltshire Drive area and uh, I mean grass here must be three feet high in places. My view on this is either you cut it and maintain it regularly or just let it grow and grow and grow. Let it take its natural course. Or if you can't maintain it properly, why not just pave it over, tarmac it over, that will save you a lot of costs in the long run. Now just look at this, this is three foot high all the way through here. Now anybody walking with a dog and wants to let the dog mess in that grass, do you think that dog owner is going to go in there and look for the mess? I don't think so. I think he'd have a job to find it. I should think the only way he would find it was by putting his nose to the ground. Also just think of the the mess when you get a grass cut around here. It ends up looking like a, a hay field. And as I say, and I'm sure many of the residents of Trowbridge would say, either maintain it properly or just leave it alone and tell us you're not going to bother to cut the grass. It's going to let it grow wild. Or as I said before, just Surface it over, concrete it over, tarmac it over. Anything's going to look better than this scruffy mess. Uh, in many respects, it's, maybe it's better if you just leave it like this and let it grow wild. To say, once you get the grass cutters here, what does it look like afterwards? Just like a, like a hayfield. Maybe it's best just leave it like this. But whatever you do, make a decision. It's no good coming along and cutting it uh, every few weeks or every month and it looks tidy and then you leave it like this for a long period. Uh, one thing you should take into account, uh, this grass verge uh, being left like this, this is right outside of people's houses. So if anybody parks on the road and then wants to go into that particular house, say to the house on the to the right here, they've got to walk through this grass. Well now I've entered the Croft area and I'm pretty darn sure that not all residents here come out and cut these verges. But as you can see they're in reasonable condition. It needs cutting but it's nothing like we've seen elsewhere. So how's attention been given to the Croft and not to other areas. Perhaps it's a bit like the pavements I'm walking on here. All these pavements were relayed some years ago and rumour has it that it was because of a, a local councillor living in the Croft area. Now if you go back out onto Holbrook Lane and turn right and head towards Bradley Road the pavement there is in a disgusting condition. So what was special about this area? Well having walked through the croft there's every evidence here that the grass cutting has been carried out on a more frequent basis uh, compared with the other, other areas that we've uh, walked through this morning. Well, we're just entering the uh, Ashmead area from Bradley Road. Now the grass we see immediately in front, uh, this is cut by the council because of the property on the right, which is the resource centre. 
uh, here. Normally when this is cut, three trucks arrive with about eight men to cut this grass outside and also on the property. I've watched this being done and normally there's just a couple of men hanging around not doing very much, probably using a leaf blower. What will happen, they come along and they cut this. As you can see it is much shorter with respect to anywhere uh, else we've seen in Wiltshire Drive. And eventually when they come along to cut the remainder of the grass and ash meat, they'll also cut this as well. So this can actually be cut twice in one week. As you can see, once we get to the ash mead sign, this is the area where it's two or three feet high and it's right outside of people's properties, which doesn't exactly enhance the property. Further ahead, the grass has been cut by residents. Otherwise it would look the same as this does, complete mess. Okay, now I'm down at the bottom end of Ashmead and uh, here's the condition of the grass down through here. And if we look across the opposite side of the road, now that's right in front of people's properties. Now is it right to just leave it looking like that? Or maybe just pave it, then vehicles won't have to park on the side of the road as this is a narrow road. Uh, a bus frequently comes down through here. And further ahead it narrows up quite considerably. It would make sense to widen the road and do away with all of this grass. Once again, if you're not going to keep this uh, under control, pave it. Vehicles like the one on the right hand side and several behind me, this could be parking areas. Take the vehicles off the road. <laughs> 